Howdy folks and welcome back to the RCD show. I've got Dylan Havens with me today. Dylan's hadn't been here in maybe a year and last time he was here he was this little kid. And now look at him. He, I mean then the guitar looks so, go back and look. Then the guitar looks so big on him. Now he's a full grown young man and handles this thing. I mean he got the holes this tailor like. So uh, how have you been Dylan? I've been doing really good. I've I've been doing really well. I, <laughs> I just, I've been doing quite a bit of playing earlier in this year, yeah. and um, yeah, I've been watching you, mm, keeping up with you. It's been fun. I've been started to play with a youth band, so some kids my age, people that I've known for years, but I haven't been in a band with. So I've been playing with them, and it's been a really nice experience. So it's been fun. Cool. Well, um, can we start off with a song, then we'll come in and talk about. Uh, talk about some stuff. Yeah, definitely. I'm gonna play a, an original. I'm gonna. I mean, how many songs am I gonna? I'll be, I'm gonna be playing an original that I uh, that I wrote about the hardships of being a musician. You know the hard. <laughs> how old are you now? I'm gonna be 15 in a couple months. 14 years old. The hardships of being a musician, folks. There's some. There's some hardships you might not think. Like, yeah. It's, I'm not okay, worried. Okay, go ahead. That's before the song. Give me one good hardship that, I mean, you know, don't ruin the song, but tell me about a hardship a 14-year-old feels. and People laugh at you. Well, shame on them. It's happened before. One time I was playing at a club. There's like, oh, look at that kid right there. Look at, you know, well, you, you stuff tell, like that. You, 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 but well, they're not going to laugh at you very long. Nope. No, they're, 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 they're going to, pretty soon, they're going to be recognizing you and saying, hey, hey, that's, that's Dylan Havens, don't laugh at him. <laughs> <laughs> well, they don't laugh at me anymore. They, when I was younger, you know, it's, it's, you know, there's challenges you get when you're older and there's challenges you get when you're younger. I'm in the middle of them. So I'm, I'm doing pretty good right now when it comes to those. Nobody laughs at me anymore, I don't think. I wouldn't think so. Well, Dylan, what's the name of this song? Uh, it's called uh, Losers Never, well, Losers Win. I say. Losers win. win. And, and how, when did you write this? I wrote this about about a little after I came on this show the last time. Yeah. Have you recorded it? Is it on any any of your CDs or anything yet? Have you published it rather other than just on the you know, internet? Mm -hmm. I haven't published it yet, but I, um, I'm in the process of recording it. You yeah. Know? Well, well, cool. Um, and what'd you say? Losers win? Losers win. Folks, performing his original Losers Win, right here, our own Wimberley? Yes. Our yes. own Wimberley. I wasn't sure if he was Wimberley or Dripping Springs. I'm in right in between. Right here, our own Wimberley, Dripping Springs, Dylan Haven.
So, Dylan, um, you were saying something and I interrupted you. What is it that you was... Well, I was, what I was saying is that I really want to, with, that's, that's why I'm not, I'm not coming on here, I'm not going, hey, dude, you know, like I normally do, goof off and have fun. I want, because I want to take my music, if I'm blessed enough to do it, to the next level. And that, I, you know, because that, that's always been my dream, and I realized, you know, I want to be successful if I, you know, I, I mean, obviously I may not be blessed enough to be successful, and I know, but I want to be, I want to take my music to the next level, and so I, I really want to, you know, I want to bring it up to, uh, I want to really be successful as a musician, uh, you know, as a kid, I don't want to, so yeah, that's one of my Dylan, big, I think, big goals. So. I don't think you should cap yourself there, I don't think you should put limitations on yourself like that, because I, I think people look at you uh, not as a kid, certainly not anymore. I think they look at you now as a musician, just straight across the board and make a difference how, and a singer-songwriter and a very talented young man. And so uh, you, have, you have great aspirations, but I think you're probably closer than you think you are to, to, to getting that. I, I'd, I'd bet you here again, we'll go betting, I'd bet you a dollar that, that uh, in a couple of years when you're here, uh, you, you, it's going to be hard to get you because you're going to be out there, do, you know, just doing so much. And uh... All right, so let's talk about this next song. Oh, yeah. Okay, this next song's called A Rising Moon. And I, uh, it's a kind of a, it's a little, it's a song that I wrote. And I've kind of just, over the years, been kind of adding to it and getting it ready. And I think it's ready to be released to the public right here. So. so that's first time released to the public. First time. Right here on our CD show. Right here on our CD show. Uh. I never played it in public. <laughs> right here. You could go to work as one of those, what is it when you sound like something, not a ventriloquist. But voice, a, voice. Impersonator. Impersonator. You did me pretty well. Well, of course I go to work with an impersonator. <laughs> I can do voices, but... I love it. Uh, All right, Dylan. I'm going to uh, leave it here to you. Just go right ahead. A great deal. This is... Uh... You've lost your heart, you've lost your love And soon they'll come and collect your soul You've lost your faith and you've lost your hope Now there's nothing left but the rising moon But the rising moon Shoot the sand from the clouds you put out your hand Yeah But you know you'll never 
would do the things that it can. And at the moon, you shove up the ground. You fall on your knees and you sing out loud. Another good one, I uh, tell you what, that 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 one, uh, uh, that's as good as anything I've heard you write, Dylan. Oh, hey, uh, thanks. And and uh, did you say before session one, well, before we shot, you, you said that you really just, fin or you might have said it earlier too, so you just finished this really, you just tidied it up, put a bow on it, and got it all together recently. Yeah, kind of, it's like, it's like giving a Christmas present to someone, but you've been making the present for three years, and then finally put the bow on it, and like you said, because I've been, I've been writing the song for years, but I don't think I had the musical writing capability, or, well, you know, or, or, I haven't, I hadn't heard as many songs or anything, so I, now that I, at this I kind of dug it up from my piles of old songs, you know, dug this song up, and I realized I could turn it into something pretty cool. I, I'm just sitting here listening to you and looking at you. You got a broke pick. I broke my pick. How did you play that song with a broke pick? Uh, I didn't even know I broke it until after the song. That is the, you know, people that break a string and just keep right on going and you can't tell. Uh, that boy, and people break a pick or keep right on going. You don't even know it. We're right here on the air, and you're playing with a broke pick, it sounds... Uh, Great that's a sign. Yeah, bad. that's that's the sign of a uh, of a true musician. There. I was in a trance. Performer, I was, I was not a, a musician. A true pro performer. Perform, yeah, that's. <laughs> I always talk about my biggest goal because I say I. T <laughs> I told these people when I was on America's Got Talent, they said, what's your dream? And I said, I don't have any dreams. I've got goals. Because dreams, you could dream of being a princess, but you're probably never going to be a princess. <laughs> you uh, don't want to be a princess. Well, no, 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 I don't want to be. But still, you can. But I, you could have, so establish a goal of being a princess. It's a different thing. It means you want to take action. So my biggest goal is to be a performer. It's, you know, I. that's why, you know, what I've always... I think it's something I really love love to do. Well, you know, I've known you, what, two years now, and you've been a performer 
all of those two years, I got a feeling that you was a performer a long time before I met you. And I heard you on America's Got Talent. I didn't hear you say that, but I heard you. And they, I think they probably made you say it. You looked right in the camera and they said, how bad do you want this? And you said, I want it more and I want a girlfriend. Well, that was a, I was a bit of a... They I, was made a, you, I was a hoot back then. They, probably, they didn't prop. They didn't yeah. say it. They make you say they, that. They, 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 the thing is, they do. You know, they did. They did. But you know, the thing is, it's it's kind of, it's a. Uh, you know, I was a hoot back then. I was. It's uh, a hoot, and that's something an expression that we <laughs> use out here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if you're in one of those other places I mentioned, hoot's good. That's uh, not. We're not talking owls. Hoot's good. <laughs> uh, I was a wise owl. A wise owl. <laughs> wise owl. You're gonna do a song. Um, that that your music teacher wrote uh, well, in Austin, right? Yeah, not only is he my guitar teacher, but he's a really good friend and a mentor. And I think uh, he's a really he's just he's a really good guy all around. He's it's funny. His name's actually on this pick. You broke the pick that's got his name on. No, no, no. I I, I threw the other pick back there. This, oh. this his name's on the spare pick I brought. Well, what's the name on the pick? Mark Eric. Mark. Eric, another one of them people with two names, two first names like Ricky Charles. Yeah. Mark Eric. Well, folks, this song's written by a songwriter in Austin. And a fabulous, I have to say, sorry, I have to say, fabulous guitar player. Beyond, you know, he can go, and you know, and you know, he's he makes my guitar playing look like a. And, and people would say that I'm pretty good for my age, but he makes he's 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 extremely exceptional. Well, gee, now we got to have him on the show. Well. I don't know if he'll be on. I haven't met this particular songwriter, but uh, but hey, Mark, when you when you see this, based on this young man's recommendation, I want to meet you. I'm gonna get you on the radio on uh, YouTube. Uh, well, what's the name of this song that Mark wrote? It's called Yesterdays, and it's got a bit of a story behind it. It's a, it's a story about a I think a young man who had a difficult difficult life but he came through it persevered yeah he persevered through it so and what's the name of it it's called yesterdays not yesterday by the beatles but yesterdays yesterdays by mark eric performed by dylan haven Yes, it is. 
tomorrow song there and Mr. Dylan Havens you are just hey, you're, you're asked me if I can promise you and I don't make many promises your aspirations that you talked about before this song are all gonna come true you are just too good for it not to you it's in you you know the first time I met you you came out here and and we play or you played and to me, I could just, I just tell right then, you're, you're just, you're born to do this. This is, this is your calling, and, you know, you've got yourself focused, you've got your aspirations, you've got your goals, you, you, you have a clear path set ahead of you, and I, I don't have any doubt in the world that you're going to make it. Thank you. Thank you very much. That, that means a lot. I mean, hearing it from, you know, someone like you who's seen a lot of artists, you know, because I hear that, you know, I hear that a lot, but, you know, hearing that from someone like you who's seen lots of artists who has a show, you know, you meet lots of people and you know lots of people, and that, you know, that means a lot. Thank you very much. Oh, well, hey, thank you. And, and on behalf of our viewers uh, and, and, and our listeners on the radio, and I mean this very sincerely because they can't thank you. Uh, right now on on behalf of them thank you that's why i'm bringing you to them is because you know they you, you just can't see everybody and you know but folks folks listen to me you get the chance to go see this young man don't miss it he is a hoot hoot is that right <laughs> hoot, hoot. <laughs> this has been more fun than i've had in a while will you come back and see us soon it's been a whole year since you you seen us last time. Will you come back and see us, son? Oh, I hope it's not a year before I get to come back again. Me so, too. Yeah. Well, you say bye to everybody. Well, everybody, uh, thank you for having me on here. I had a lot of had a lot of fun. I uh, I enjoyed it, and I hope that uh, I hope you'll check me out on the web and you know just anyway. Thank you very much. God bless. Thank you very much. God bless. <laughs>